The shelter's campaign helped more than 150,000 animals across the country find their forever homes. More than 460 ended up being adopted right here in southeastern North Carolina. And that's great news, but as WECT's Kim Ratcliffe reports, it's important to remember the somber reality that there are still thousands of animals hoping someone will adopt them. Micah is one of the lucky ones. We featured her during the Clear the Shelters campaign. Brenda Connor's daughter saw it and called her right away. All I saw was a 10-year-old dog that owner had died. I didn't think anybody would adopt a 10-year-old dog. She and her daughter made the trip to the Pender County Animal Shelter. This dog came flying across, jumped on the bench with me, scooted back until she was sitting in my lap. And Kim and I looked at each other and said, we've been chosen. Wisteria, Peach, Nirvana, Clifford, and Wiley are also in Forever Homes after being featured during Clear the Shelters. Rescue groups and shelters agree the program helps. Clear the Shelters is an excellent promotion um, to help municipal shelters and rescues get pets in homes. But it only tackles part of the problem. Euthanasia numbers are eye-opening, according to public animal shelter reports released by the State Department of Agriculture. More than 10,000 dogs and 25,000 cats were killed in shelters in 2021. It is the hardest part of our job, and it's the last thing that we want to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. Get together. It's yeah. the euthanasia question. Oh, yeah. The number of euthanasias in North Carolina are very upsetting. It's very um, sad. Uh, there aren't enough homes for them all. The problem doesn't seem to be getting much better year after year. North Carolina shelters took in over 120,000 animals last year and of all 50 states has the second highest kill rate in the country. One of the best ways to cut down on the number of animals in shelters is to spay or neuter your pet. There are several shelters in our area that have spay and neuter clinics, so when you adopt a pet, it leaves altered. Some even offer vouchers to help cover the cost, but there's no enforcement and no guarantee it will happen. The laws in the state need to be stricter. You can constantly, every week, ask people to spay and neuter their pets, but if they don't have a more lawful motivation, they don't do it. This is challenging enough with dogs, but cats can have several litters a year. And with pets and strays roaming freely, the number of unwanted kittens and cats typically doubles the numbers of dogs in shelters. Of course, adopting from a local shelter or rescue group is another way to help, and that's where Clear the Shelters steps in. It's only a month-long campaign, but we need to remember it focuses on a year-long problem. These pets need good homes. Some of them haven't ever known being in a cage and shouldn't have to live there for months. Today, in fact, Micah is celebrating her 11th birthday with her new family. If you need help spaying or neutering your pet, we have links to a couple of low-cost options in this story on WECT.com and the WECT News app.